So <clears throat> you've reversed the polarity on your 60 amp Renergy DC to DC charger. And you heard a pop sound and it doesn't work anymore. So is it ruined? Hopefully no. We've got standard blade fuses. They're actually not even soldered to the board, which is nice. So 340 amp fuses and we're back in business. I'll uh, grab some fuses, chuck them in and we shall see if it's a goer. Okay. Certainly cactus. Full focus. Uh, there we go. Exploded. These ones are not. And they will go in here. Reasonably tight fit. That's good. Now that is sort of loose. I'm feeling that terminal has not really got much grip. I'm actually wondering if thickness wise are these any different? No, not really. So what I'm going to do is pull these back out for a sec. You can actually, I'm not used to trying to look through the camera. All right, so if I squash that down a little bit, yeah, that's now a tighter fit. If it's a bit loose, there's a risk of it heating up on you. And boy, is that out of whack? It just is. Ah, oh, the fuse is actually a bit bent. All right, three forties in there. Easy fix. So when you pull this apart, it's interesting that tape hasn't been peeled. It's double-sided tape. I wonder if it was meant to be. Probably not, because you'd never get it apart. Um, this one is a little bit tacky, but that feels like heat transfer compound. It is fairly thick foam. <clears throat> nah, so it wouldn't be heat transfer. I wonder why it's tacky. Yeah. Don't know, maybe they make super thick heat transfer stuff, because the, the actual body of this would be useful to get rid of some heat. It is fan forced cooling though, and there is a big heat sink there. So anyway, this is the internals of the 60 amp Renergy DC to DC charger. And I have given one of these a test, works well. <coughs> Cranks. Status light. So yeah, this one's never been powered up. Just that last minute check on the input. I had the positive on the outside. And second we connected power, Cablemo. Well, actually you just hit and that's it. But. All right, back in a sec when I've powered it up. Okay, we're back in one piece. They recommend some pretty hefty wire for this. So we're running like 1.8 mil. <laughs> There's gonna be no load on it, it's just to turn it on. So I got 15 volts coming in as a switch mode power supply feeding that. Now I've got two positive feeds, there's negative and positive here. I just had a black off cut. This is the trigger wire and there'll be a status light. So as I grab this and clip it on here, oh, look at that. We got ourselves a green light. No power band drawn because there's no battery on the outside of it, but nice. Dunk, dunk. Fans do a little test spool. What's <clears> arm? 